Ditz has a passion for sustainability. To learn more about it, he biked around the world learning from different cultures while documenting his travels. He rode more than 40,000 miles in the past four years and recently came home and reunited with his family. Hey, babe, I'm here. Just letting you know I'm here. For four years, this is what the view looked like for Mike Ditz traveling around the world on his bike, researching renewable energy. And I wanted to see more. I wanted to learn about how people live their lives, what different belief systems there are, um, how people get by, and what the world looks like. And to do that, he said goodbye to his family. His mother thought he was crazy at first and told him to simply Google the research. And he said, no, Mom. He said, I want to see it for myself how other countries are sustaining themselves and how I can help them. And that he did, traveling more than 100 miles a day, visiting 63 countries, fully immersing himself in the culture. If people are washing their clothes in the river, then I go and wash my clothes in the river. While also building a windmill in Zimbabwe and adding solar panels on a man's bread hut. Uh, I was pushed to my physical limits. Uh, I learned a lot from those moments and I wouldn't have thought that that would be uh, one of the more difficult challenges, but it turned out that way. Uh, but it's made me a much stronger person in doing so. I worried about him every day, and especially because he said an elephant almost trampled him in Africa. But that worrying came to an end when Ditz finished his adventure in his mother's arms. Coming back with the same bike he rode since the beginning, an almost fully stamped passport, and a special gift for his mother. So I got you handmade silk from Uzbekistan. Something he'd been carrying with him for more than a year. Did you make it back, huh? Make it back. Well, what an awesome reunion there.